hey guys welcome back again so in this video let's see that what is a brute force attack and how do we handle a brute force attack on a node.js server and then we'll also be looking into that what is a ddos attack so before seeing that how to mitigate a brute force attack or a ddos attack first let's understand that what is a brute force attack or a dos attack so now suppose you created your server by spending hours and hours of work into it to create a great api and then some attacker wants to attack your server the easiest way is to send hundreds and thousands of requests to your server so that the server is busy responding to those requests and not the request that is sent by an actual client or the normal client or the normal user that is you using your api and the server would be continuously busy in responding to those hundreds and thousands of requests that is sent by the attacker and this type of attack is known as a dos attack that is the server has denied the request that is made by an actual client because it is completely busy in responding to the hundreds and thousands of requests sent by an attacker and similarly a brute force attack is a similar kind of attack in which now suppose you have a login route in which the user enters his email or password to make a login request now if an attacker wants to log in inside your application and he wants to impersonate someone so what he will do he will try to use a combination of email and passwords from a dictionary and he will try to make hundreds and thousands of requests to your server to make a login request until and unless one succeeds so therefore you need to make a check that only a certain number of requests are allowed per minute or per hour depending on your api so now let's look at that what is a ddos attack and again we have a server and then here the first d means distributed denial of service which means that it is not only limited to a single attacker but here what an attacker will do he would use multiples of computers or multiple pcs on the internet to exploit your server by making thousands and thousands of requests from those computers that are solely meant for this purpose that is to make the server unstable and so that the actual client who is trying to access your api is not able to access the api because the server is too busy responding to the attacker's request and now what are the solutions to mitigate a dos attack or brute force attack or a ddos attack firstly we have the captcha and the recaptcha it is a simple that is i am not a robot thing that you always see on different pages or you need to verify by clicking on some sign boards so but this only works great for login and register forms but this captcha and recaptcha doesn't works for an api that is an api access cannot be blocked or limited because when you are try to access an api there is no captcha or recaptcha or an image which you can verify it is dynamically sent and for that what we can use we can use our rate limiter which is alternatively known as the incremental delay or request throttling so this is a very good thing to use inside any of your api that you are building and here an api access can also be blocked and rate limited so now let's understand that what is a rate limiter and how does it help us and that's what we are going to do in this video so basically it's a very simple technique that is used to control the incoming and outgoing traffic from your server so what it will do it will limit the number of requests a client can make in a particular time window that is if you allow your api to be accessed like a like for example a login route to be accessed only 5 times per uh, per minute then you can do that and if you want to make your api access that is if you are serving some blog post that you want the client to only access a couple of times per hour then also you can use the same thing on that particular route and therefore it helps us in mitigation of the brute force dos and ddos attacks so now let's jump into vs code and let's see that how do we apply rate limiting inside our node js application using express framework so here what i have done is that i have created a very basic express application and you all know that how to create a express application and then finally we are listening on port 3000 so let's start this application by doing npm start because i have created a start script in my package.json file here as we can see here that is nodemon app.js and if you haven't installed nodemon globally then you can simply do npm install hyphen g nodemon and it helps us to restart our application as soon as it sees changes in our .js files so let's run this application by doing npm start so our server is on port 3000 and if we go to this uh, file here that is rest.http so here this file is used to send http request to our server that is the server which we are running and for this i'm using this extension inside vs code that is called rest client and it's a very nice extension to use whenever you are building your api and i've got a video about this and if you want to learn more about this extension then you can go and watch that video i'll link to that in the description below 
so now if you want to make a request to this home route that is this route so let's simply click here that is send request and here we get back hello from our rate limited app and similarly we can send these requests to any other route at which we have inside our application so now typically what happens right now that if i want to make a request to this login route i can click this again and again and again and again and i am making hundreds and thousands of requests to this login route here and similarly if i want to make a request here that is this get route here that is the home route i can send hundreds and thousands of requests to this route because this route is not rate limited and what will happen is that the server would be busy in responding to my request and not an actual client's request so now to mitigate this thing let's see that how do we rate limit this application so for that i'm going to stop my server here and for this i'm going to install a new package here so npm install hyphen hyphen save express rate limit and now if we go to our package.json file we see that we have this package installed and now we need to require this package inside our app.js file so let me require it here so const limiter equal to require express rate limit like this and now if you want to rate limit your application as in whole that is for each of the routes you want to limit your application to have certain number of requests per minute or per hour or so so what we can do we can use this limiter as a middleware inside our whole app so what we can do we can simply say app dot use a limiter and then we can pass in an object here so the first thing which we need to pass here is the window time and this is the time window so let's see if we pass here 5 seconds so for 5 seconds we need to pass in 5000 because this takes time in milliseconds and then we can pass in one more property here that is the maximum number of requests which is allowed per 5 seconds so let's pass 5 here for maximum 5 requests per 5 seconds so now let's save this application and let's restart this application by doing npm start and now let's go to this rest.http and now let's make a request here to this home route so we see that we are getting back the response but now let me quickly do five requests within five seconds so let me make five requests within five seconds and we see here that this time we are getting too many requests please try again later so now if we if we try to access this route within five seconds then we are going to get this message and if you want to change this message what you can do you can pass in another property here and that is the message property here and here you can pass in either a string or you can pass in an object here so here we can simply pass in the code here that is 429 and that is an http code for uh, too many requests and then you can pass in an actual message here so message too many requests or your custom message here whatever you want so let's save this and now let's again try to make this request so again we are getting back the response from the uh, this route here that is hello from our rate limited app and we see here that we get this thing here that is x rate limit header and the limit is 5 and then we have the rate limit remaining that is the number of requests which we can make within the window time that is this 5 seconds window here and then we again have this header here that is x rate limit reset that is the time at which our limit would be again re be reset to 5 that is this thing here that is the maximum number of requests so this time let me again quickly make a number of requests here that is within 5 seconds i want to make more than 5 requests so we see that is 5 2 1 0 and this time we are getting this message here that is the status code is 429 and the message is too many requests so now this is for the whole application that is if you want to rate limit whole of your application but what if if you want to only limit the number of requests only on certain routes that is if you want to limit the number of registrations on your application then what we can do we can simply comment this thing out from here and let's make a function here that is uh, let me close this thing from here and here what i'll do i'll create a function here that is const register limiter and this should be equal to limiter and here we can pass in the object here that is window in milliseconds and here let's say our time window is 5 minutes 
So let's translate that into milliseconds. So 5 into 60 into 1000 like this. And then the maximum number of registrations which we want inside five minutes, let's say two. That is no client can register to our application more than two times within this five minute window. So let's save this and here inside the post request not in the get request because you always want to send a get request to your client or otherwise you can pass in here a general limiter that is only a client can access this page a certain number of times that is to prevent a DOS attack but now here let me simply handle the post route and here what we can do we can simply pass in register limit limiter as the middleware here inside this route that is post route here so let's save this and now if we make a get request to this register page here we see that we are getting the register page back and this should be our typical html page or whatever and to register to your application you need to make a post request so let's send a request here and we see that this x rate limit is 2 and the rate limit remaining is 1 that is within 5 minutes we can only register 2 times so let's again make a request to this register route and we see that our remaining limit is zero and the maximum limit is reached. So if we make our request again, that is if we want to register another user to this route, then we have to wait for five minutes. And we see here that we are getting this message here that is too many requests, please try again later. And this message, you can customize it yourself. As I've told here, that is what the message is. And the similar thing, what you can do is to create another limiter for your login request. So let's say const login limit equal to limiter and then this should again take an object here and for this thing what we want to do that is within one minute window we do not want to handle more than five requests. So window in milliseconds and one into 60 times thousand and then the maximum number of request that a user can make to the login route is suppose say 5. So now let's save this application again and this time we are going to apply this login limit to this post route here that is post login and here we can say login limit like this and this should be 1000 not 10,000. So let's save this and let's restart our application and now let's go to our risk line. And here, if I'll make a post request to our login route, that is to make the user login, I can only try five times to make a user login within a window of one minute. So let's make a request. And we see that the total rate limit provided to us was five. And the remaining request which we can make to this post route here is four. And the time at which this limit would be reset is this time here. And that is the Unix time here. And now let's make a request here. And we see that finally after five tries, within one minute we are getting this message here and again this message can be changed but this rate limit is only for this post route here not this get route if we want to make a get request to this login uh, route here we can simply make it because this route is not protected only this route is protect protected so if we again try to make this request we see that we are getting okay here and now one minute window is over for five requests so now let's make a request here we are getting this thing here but if we try to make a request here we cannot access this uh, route here because this route is rate limited so guys that's all about this video so if you have liked the video do hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to our channel do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon and if you want you can support me on the links given in the description below so thank you bye bye tata take care and have a good day